going in day in and day out knowing that they're laying their head on a concrete curb that they might not eat for two days, they might not have any water or clean water to drink. Being able to connect them to medical services and other resources to help with those insecurities, whether it be clothing or food or medical care, they just need somebody who cares to listen and help guide them, keep them positive, keep them going, knowing that, you know, it sucks, you're out here on the streets, you don't know when you're gonna eat again, you don't have a bathroom to use, but you are still a person and, you know, your dignity matters. The best thing we can do is education. I think for me, and I wish that people knew and could see homelessness and see the actual face of it and not just the person they drive by on the street. There is a story behind each person. I hope that this draws attention to it and I, I hope that people take the time to listen and, and actually get educated and understand why we do the things we do, why we're trying to help. My name is Christina Cruzero. I'm a nurse with Hunter Health. I work alongside United Methodist Open Doors. So my name is Josh Watkins. I am the Director of Homeless Services here at United Methodist Open Door, and I work very closely with Hunter Health. From November 12th to the 18th is National Homeless and Hunger Awareness Week. So join us in recognizing and helping those in need in every community receive care this year.